What's up guys? Welcome to this week's episode of DIY Dad. So today we're going to be fixing a link, uh, leak in my kitchen sink. Uh, we just discovered it earlier today and that's something that you don't want going on for a long amount of time because it can create mold and just mess things up. So we're going to get that fixed. So stay tuned. What's this? Stop it. What? You, you look like you're selling a car. What's up guys? It's your DIY Dad here. We're going to fix our sink. So um my wife doesn't get really mad at me because she told me about it today even though she's told me about the other part that i need to fix but what we're gonna do is do it guys First, let's talk about what I'm going to fix. I actually looked at it. Um, there's a little trick that I learned. If you actually put toilet paper, wrap it around the pipes, you can figure out where the leak's coming from. And it looks to be the gasket uh, has failed in the, the drain that attaches to the sink. So there's a few things that I need to fix that. The first thing is this... Uh, the washer for it, the actual rubber gasket uh, that goes underneath the drain when you put it in the sink. Um, instead of using plumber's putty, uh, because one thing I learned is plumber's putty, it's not good for uh, different temperatures rapidly, so like hot and cold, it can cause it to crack over time. So uh, I actually am going with silicon for this one. Um, so we got some kitchen bath and plumbing silicon that we'll be using. Uh, to make the seal, we're going to need some uh, big uh, grips here of uh, the wrench to unscrew the, the piece on the bottom. And then you need a handy dandy light. I like this workbench light from Ryobi, it's actually really cool. But that's everything that we're going to need for this task, so let's get started. So we have everything cleared out here. Uh, let me show you guys what we're dealing with. So, if you look down here, this is a, this, and one thing I forgot to mention, it's handy to have a bucket to catch any water that drips. So, like I said, I used the toilet paper to see where the leak was coming from. And this one up here at the top got wet. Uh, when I investigated further, I could see like you can see the water right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix that seal right there. First thing we have to do is we need to take this nut off here. We're gonna need to loosen this up and maybe loosen this part up too. So let me do that and we'll move to the next step. So I don't know if you guys could see or not, but I was having trouble getting the big nut off the bottom of the drain. Um, so I went to Home Depot and this is what I got. So we have a plug wrench for the drain to hold it still and then we have a lock nut wrench. So let's give it another go and see how these work. So here we are back under the sink again. My wife is using the plug wrench on the top of the sink to hold the drain in place while I use the bigger wrench to hold that nut there. And she's actually using the plug wrench to unscrew it because she had more space up there. So there it goes. All right, so here we are, we got our drain out. As you can see, there's all this old plumber's putty that was in there from before. So we're gonna clean that out. And like I said, we're going to replace that with silicone. Let's see here. 
Code. So I did a little bit more scraping here and now we just want to clean it with some rubbing alcohol really, really well. Now we just want to clean the underside too with some rubbing alcohol and make sure that where it's going to touch with the gasket is nice and clean, free of any debris or gunk. Alright, looks good. So for this next step, we're going to apply silicone to the bottom rim of the drain there. When you do this, you want to make sure that you try to keep the silicone out of the, um, the threads there because it'll just make it harder next time you need to come back and do any kind of repairs. So just make sure that you get enough on there to where it makes a good seal. So in this clip here, I'm putting the sink drain back into the bottom of the sink. You want to make sure that you don't press too hard because you want the, a nice bead of silicone to still be underneath there. Here I'm using a paper towel to clean off any excess silicone just to make sure that when it dries, it looks nice and, um, com you know, nice and finished. This was a clear silicone, even though when it went on, it looked like it was white. So here I'm just putting the last few pieces back on, the rubber gasket, the cardboard uh, fiber gasket, and then that big nut on the bottom there. You do want to make sure that you don't get it cross-threaded when you're screwing it back on, so I was careful to make sure that it was on there correctly before I started screwing it back on. Now here I'm just getting it hand tight, and I am going to let the silicone set overnight before I come back in with the wrench and uh, do my final tightening on that piece. Um, just so I can make sure that that bead of silicone is there and it's nice and thick and it doesn't have any kind of leaks. Now here I have one hand above this sink using the drain plug holder to actually hold the drain there so it doesn't spin and doing my final hand tightening. Now I'm just going to put the rest of the that nut there and make sure that everything's nice and tight so we can um, let it sit overnight and cure and then we'll do our water test. Alright here is our completed sink drain. Everything is up, put back together, tightened up. So now we just need to test it, make sure there's no leaks anywhere. It's looking good, not seeing any leaks. I think we're good to go. And now we have a fully functioning sink again. Uh, so there's really three steps to this relatively easy process. Number one is just figuring out where the leak is. Number two was figuring out what you need to do to fix the leak, what parts you're going to need. In this case, we just needed the gasket. And then step number three is after you actually fix the leak, checking to make sure that uh, it's no longer leaking because you don't want to have any further messes or you know incidents. So that was it. Uh, if your sink is leaking, this is actually a pretty common issue with the uh, gasket right there, right at the bottom of the sink basin, basin leaking. So if you do have a leaking sink, that could very well be your problem. This video can help you out. So thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you guys next week.